Hey guys, welcome back to Beam Your Light. Um, just wanted to hop on here and share a very quick word with you guys. Something God was putting in my heart since yesterday. Um, and just something that he's wanting for his children during this time to really just take in and um, walk in. And so let's pray really quickly and I'll get right into this word. Father God, I just thank you for today. I thank you for waking us all up. I thank you for your for your grace and your mercy, Father Lord, that you bestow upon us. And I just thank you for this word. I pray that this word comes as a confirmation to many of your children, Father God. And I pray that you will have your way. You will speak through my lips like clay and that I am not relying on my own abilities, but through your supernatural wisdom, Father God, that I will speak boldly and with your faithfulness over every single one of us, Father God, that you will keep us, you will continue to anoint us and allow us to walk in the gifts and calling you place over our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So one thing God was showing me um, is about his grace and his mercy. And he's wanting us to understand the importance of his grace and mercy, how the Lord gives us his grace and mercy, right? He tells us we all fall short of his glory. And when we do, when we stumble, when we have a little um, bump in the road, his grace and mercy is there to show us that we can keep going, that he can raise up our faith, that he is with us, that he will never leave us, he will never forsake us. And so he was just showing me within my own personal walk, my own life, um, about grace and mercy and showing that, sharing that with other people because no one's perfect. We all go through our own little battles. We all, we're all facing circumstances that we're needing God to provide and to guide us through. And so this is just a very quick word, but he was just showing me how when we give grace and mercy unto others, the Lord's going to continue to show up in our lives with his grace, with his mercy. And he wants us to continue to walk in the fruits of his Holy Spirit because those fruits is what makes us, what keeps us, what aligns us, what perfects the love that he has for us. And so if you're in a situation in your life where the Lord is truly just teaching you the mantles of the fruits of his spirit and you're learning to put them on i promise you as you put them on he's just making you into a new creation showing you new things giving you vision um allowing you to taste and see his sovereignty amen so i just wanted to encourage you guys with this i feel the holy spirit i want to encourage you guys give grace and mercy to yourself for not knowing and, and I think oftentimes when we see other believers or we just see other people around us, like we see them at a pace in life or we see them at a place in life um, as where God brought them and have grace and mercy on yourself that you're still learning and you're still progressing and you're still abiding with the Lord and in the Lord. And he's teaching you where you are currently is where he wants you. Amen. So I pray that this word encourages you guys. I love you guys so much. And I'll talk to you guys soon. God bless you all.